Well, TV advantage, good. Skaven with a wizard, bad. I guess the good thing is the Bretts would have got this team and been and lost even harder. This is the same this is the same team that I beat last time, wasn't it? Same Skaven team. He's only got thirteen guys this time. And that's still the only loss he's got. So at least it's more than a wizard he's getting. You know, if it was just a wizard he was getting, it'd be scary. And his storm vermin are still crap. So I guess 260 is not bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty good. The old penis. Wizard of bribing a dead chaos team. Be interesting. He might he might go for something different like a star player. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully he might just get glad. Fezglitch maybe. Fezglitch is a good shell. He might go Fezglitch. Can just minus two dice Fezglitch with block though. Hope for the best. Yep, hello <laughs> Crystal Hunter. It is indeed a rematch. Yeah, hopefully this time there'll be some cards. Um, and the still, still the gutter runner fails. <laughs> still want to see gutter runner one in thirty sixes, but maybe actually some cards. That would be that would be glorious, wouldn't it? No pressure, but I have to. <laughs> need another shit wizard, that's what I need. Another un unsuccessful wizarding would be uh, would be ideal. I mean, it's so easy to lose this game. And it, I could play this game perfectly and still lose. Because, you know, he can play it well. Bolt, steal, score. That's it. It's... <laughs> You know, so I, uh, fucking, that's why I think Skaven are just the fucking best, aren't they? Like, I'm not saying I'm going to play perfectly. But I could actually physically play, play perfect. Whatever, whatever the fuck perfect Blood Bowl is, I could play it. You know, if you could make a computer to play perfectly every single turn. The absolute, unquestionably perfect move every single turn. You could do that against Skaven and still lose. Which just sucks, doesn't it? I think I have to put the uh, movement guy on the bench. Tackle one side, wrestle frenzy the other. Oh god, this is the it's a proper, unbelievably ridiculous one turner now. Wrestle frenzy. Wrestle Frenzy, Wrestle Horns, so he can one dice, pal the ball, easily. Oh, he's got Dauntless Wrestle, Leap as well. At least, the, at least the Storm Vermin are shit. That's like the one saving grace of this team. Claws don't matter, so just ignore that he's just a guard guy. So there's two guard this side and two guard that side. Yeah. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> really, Pedro? <laughs> Bit hard. <laughs> Sinai's already developed a computer that plays perfectly every time. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this team can win with no players left. It can, can it? He's got the movement 10. Natural one-turner. Sidestep to get easy pushes on him. So, yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? It's going to be a rough... It could easily be a loss. Even if I, even if I played perfectly, you could just one-turn and win that way. And then with a wizard wild card as well. So yeah, it's it's always hard against Gaven, to be fair. <sighs> nah, I'd probably go block. Why doesn't he have oh pro elf can <laughs> I was like dodge pro elf catcher, but yeah, a pro elf catcher. Um nah I'd, I'd go block probably ducky. It's about time now, isn't it? Or wrestle. Wrestle or block. I think it's there's no time for a project player really, is there? I mean, I guess he would score a lot of touchdowns. So if he's if he's only it depends what your other players are, I guess. But if he scores a lot of touchdowns, then uh, oh god, I thought I had the wizard. I was like, I'm going to bolt him straight away, but <laughs> it's the scale and I have the wizard, not the chaos. It seems remarkably unfair. Yeah, EU Brexit. The Brexiteers have spoken. Oh, Spacey Fago. <laughs> Spacey Fago's first time on the pitch, I think. Yeah, G6 just, yeah, there's, you know, Leap would do almost the same thing anyway. And we're, in fact, just better. A lot of the time, isn't it? So yeah, a G6 is just really bloaty. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't actually, now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, I'd probably just go block or wrestle. But then it depends on the rest of your team and everything. And if you want to do it, then it's all right, isn't it? It's not like there's a right answer and a wrong answer. There's, there's hardly anything that there's a right and a wrong answer with Blood Bowl, is there? Hardly anything just has a right and a wrong answer. But if there was a right and a wrong answer, and you played absolutely perfect every single turn against Skaven, you could still lose. Pretty easily. <laughs> and there's not really many teams like that. I mean, Chaos are one where you can just get the auto wins from removals. And I guess the, Sk the, the Chaos way of getting auto wins is, is in many ways more reliable than the Skaven way of getting auto wins. Hello, Combat Bunny. There's been a blots. <laughs> nice to see you haven't forgotten Blood Bowl. Oh, I mean, I just, I just qualified the statement, didn't I? Scave, Chaos are absolutely just auto win games, don't they? Especially against like, uh, like orcs and stuff, where they just cause a million cars. Chaos can auto win games too, absolutely. Right, interesting. I mean, I am going to help Dirt Base, 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 as as you, as you correctly said, it, they are Agility Three. He's already used a reroll. Um, I am going to help Dirt Base, Base in here. The question is how to do it. Maybe Blitz is one guard guy, but I want to save piling on, or just a mighty blow. Could still screen. I don't want to screen. I just want to get men in.
wrestle frenzy as a as a safety. Maybe he just blitzes in. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. Maybe this way. Seems good though to blitz him and then get another guy in like that. Tackle on the gutter. Yeah, I'd rather go tackle on the gutter. Also 75% knockdown, wasn't it? It is Champs Ladder, no content. Oh, well done, come back, buddy. Perk, perk, base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Perk, perk, perk. <laughs> this is a severe herb dirt base, base, basing, isn't it? But I did have all eleven players, so not even any stuns. So it made it made the herb dirt better. Andy, you, I mean that was a perfect turn. There was a perfect turn to herb dirt base base base, because he had. He'd used a reroll and he did made no removals and didn't even make a stun. So if there was any first turn to herp dirt base base base, that was the first turn to herp dirt base base base. Hello Senna89. Um It's going okay, got a random concede win earlier. A glorious concession win against a guy who played terribly and I got really upset that he had got so lucky against me. But in the end, his stupidity was his undoing, <laughs> and then he conceded, uh, which was pretty funny. Oh, he's, he's guaranteed base now. If this is a push, now he gets the power. That was a risky. Oh no, he wasn't. He could have pushed that way. I don't know why. I, don't know why I thought the gutter was blocking them. This is still a bit tricky for him, because he's got three players. He's got two blocks to clear three players. Now oh, I can just move him around as well. Fair enough. <laughs> Fucking finger. Yeah, I'm back to a back to a normal mouse. No more. No more. Uh, so getting the gutter on the getting the tackle on the gutter. Oh, he's scold. Does he go to one reroll? He does. Ooh, exciting. Tackle on the gutter. He could roll. Oh, he didn't roll. Scold out then. The ball was open, and uh, and obviously you'd have just been hit by mighty blow as well. Claw mighty blow. I mean, look, this is a this is a. Things can go very badly in this game for me, but it can also go very well. I do have a two hundred and fifty TV advantage, you know, which is obviously good. The, the the although the wizard is terrifying um 
it's always good to have loads more skills than your opponent, isn't it? Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. So it's possible. So if we pow him, pow him. Ah, he's in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Not really possible. Alright, just block people, see what happens. I ah, could do a safe move first. Stand him up. And make this block first to get somebody over here. knew that had happened because if I hadn't made that block first I could have uh, pushed him here and then blocked him there now I've got to use my tackle haven't I which sucks <laughs> God. good job I didn't re-roll it though that's why you don't greed block greed re-roll perfectly executed non-greed re-roll there Thanks for the host, Camps. Ah. Right, so now, where does the blitz come from? The dirty player or this guy? This guy could blitz him. But it's GFI, isn't it? So I guess he blocks, he blocks him, he blocks him. And we just blitz three dice, blitz this guy. So he can go on to him. Or even in here. Now that's a stun, he can come round. Here. Or here. I guess staying in front is good. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> I'm not killing them this game. <laughs> He's gone the old, give your opponents. I mean, he didn't choose to give me loads of blocks, but, you know. Gone the old, get loads of blocks, roll two double skulls, where... The thing is, Yuri Styles, is that few players, it would just simply ensure no games. That's the problem, isn't it? That is the fucking problem. Yeah, you can be my homing man any time. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Nose Die. That's a pretty good. It's pretty good, isn't it? Steam, isn't it? RNG is even random. Random results tend to spread evenly through both sides. Well, they do, don't they? The problem is that these are D6s. So they do. They do. Random results do spread evenly through both sides. However, they spread evenly over a thousand fucking games. <laughs> or a hundred games, whatever. And then also. You know, if you need to roll more sixes, you will look luckier than somebody who only needs to roll a two plus. And somebody who only needs a two plus will, will look unluckier than somebody who needs to roll a six to succeed, don't they? Yeah, I know. I'm, I, I know I know that, Elmato. I know it's a quote from... Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, though. It's, it's just... Um, but it's interesting though, isn't it? <laughs> the single player is obviously atrocious this <laughs> They complain with good reason indeed. But that, I mean, that is just the problem with Blood Bowl, isn't it? Is that the luck does even out. It just takes a long fucking time to even out.
Yeah, it's pretty funny in those times. Yeah, he can just make dodges, can't he? Because he's a fucking scaven bastard. And this safety has done nothing. So-called safety. Man, it didn't help not getting to blitz that turn. Could have three dice blitzed one of the gutters and then I'd have been basing them all and maybe powered him and everything. I guess I could have moved him over that side. I guess I could have moved him just one square over. Wow, huge dodge. He'd have been out of rerolls, he'd have had to reroll that, he'd have been out of rerolls. Wow, a bad bad GFI in my opinion. I'd have just put him here. And that would have that would have closed it off. Um without risking. Oh god, rolls of three pluses again. We're in the land of three pluses again here, just quietly. come down here I can't get anyone over to assist that block which is a shame isn't it well maybe I can but it gives up the block to be able to do it, but then that gives up a block not doing it. I think I'm going to go for the uh, four plus in two dice in. Because basing the ball isn't going to do fuck all. Double GFI. To get here. Oh, he's only agility four. Okay, then I'll do it. Cause it's a bit... I don't want to be fucking... St I don't want to fuck it up, do I, at the end of the day. Looks a little bit. Couple of GFIs to there. Yeah, getting the guard in here is not a bad idea, is it? He's going to move first. Put him in there. Could put him in here. I didn't need to do them one at a time because I was going to go for them both. <laughs> I go for this one dice because even a push isn't bad, is it? Stops us getting two dice down. I think he's probably going to go for the score here, isn't he? 
I think he's pr probably got to go for the score, should I say. Minus AV block, mighty blow claw, I wouldn't mayu. But yeah, I guess for, at this point, yeah. Yeah, at this point it's worth keeping. Yeah, he's, he's way better than a rookie, isn't he? So yeah. But long term, no. But yeah, short term, he's a lot better than a rookie, isn't he? That's the, that's the thing. Like, like I honestly, although he got some stick for it, or Lupak, I agreed with him keeping the minus strength killer. Like, as bad as minus strength is. Because... It's just way better than Rookie, isn't it? Oh wow, last reroll gone. He's got to reroll this. <laughs> he didn't have a choice. <laughs> oh my god, he won an eighty one. All right, well, had some good luck. Had some good luck here, haven't I? Made a Kaz. Made a Kaz in the first three turns. Which is good, isn't it? But, um, I mean, this is ridiculous because this is a surf. Is it not? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> if he doesn't, then he's just going to get fucking piled on. So, And if he does, I might be able to surf him. So it's a bit of a quandary for him, isn't it? I'm, either, I'm happy either way. I blitz him and push him there and follow. Then I surf both, right? He doesn't get the sidestep anywhere if they're all filled in. So I could blitz him, push him to there. And then block him out. And then block him out. That's what I think is going to happen. Glorious. That's probably my longest relationship. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thank you very much. VIP Mr. Yamanda. Thank you. Nine months. Yeah, it's, it's a long time, isn't it? Good kill, the other one. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, you couldn't use sidestep when they're all filled. All right, good. You never know. You never know with cyanide, do you? <laughs> no, I'm pretty lucky there. Just wish I had the ball carrier now. Guard guy. Right. I've got wrestle. <sighs> Disappointing. Dirty players there for a plus two foul. Mm-hmm. 
So it's weather to go for this pickup. I hope dirt base this guy. It's a GFI to base anyway. So yeah, I'd definitely move him last. Disappointed to not get the triple surf there. I don't even care about the pickup, I don't think. Alright, did it. Two assist foul, let's go. It uh, protects them from counter surfs as well, doesn't it? If I go on there, it makes it harder for him to escape. No, no, I don't want him to score, do I? Going this way makes it harder for him to score. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, yeah. Let's go there. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, it's pretty hard from the score from there, like. <laughs> Good trade off. I think when you think you should push some odds game and they really don't like that. <laughs> yeah, very difficult to score from the grave. <laughs> He's got this guy that he can score with, hasn't he? Which he might still do. I really should have based him, but then if I base him, the gut run is free. He's got no rerolls, so... Could fail things, couldn't he? Just didn't have the players to react. Maybe I shouldn't have made that blitz for going for the triple surf. Maybe I should have looked at my paper and not made surfs. Because if I just knocked the ball down and had that warrior in the blitz to, ready to react, I wouldn't have conceded this touchdown. But at least he's used the wizard. And he gets to... Yeah, that's, that, was, that was actually pretty bad, wasn't it? That foul... I had to make the foul. Maybe I didn't need to make the blitz and go for the triple serve. But then, if I hadn't done that, he'd have had a gutter and a free, wouldn't he? Yeah, I could have done all the serves without blitzing. Well, if I could have done that, if I could have done that, then I should have done, shouldn't I? Because it did limit. It did limit what I had to react afterwards, which did suck. Right, well, I'm going to get three turns with three rerolls to score. And try to knock these bastards down. At least, at least now, the loss is looking a lot less likely. At least there is that. With the wizard gone. But that was a disappointing <laughs> turn of events, ultimately. Two cars means he's got to uh, play the uh, put the gutter the movement gutter on defense if he comes back, which he probably will. He's got two chances now. Push him towards mighty blow guy. Would have GFI blitzed him if knocked him over, but. Two dice lads better. That was not good two dice ladsing. 
a bit sad that he scored actually with no re rolls there. I mean, he was unlucky. He was unlucky to 1 in 81 and stuff, wasn't he? Accurate and strong arm, yeah. Yeah, I got really good to get to that stage. He's got a babe as well, so 8 out of 9 to come back. Yeah. But three guys out is great, isn't it? Oh, I skipped that too fast. Yep, so the, the movement guy's back. But, already down to how many? Nine. And no wizard. Yeah. Yeah, the wizard. Obviously unlucky to get to that point with a 181. Maybe, was there greed involved in the first two? Don't know. So yeah, I mean, in a way, it's good that the gut run is back because it gives us more chances to hit him, doesn't it? In a way. It would have been good if he just stayed out the whole rest of the match, though. <laughs> I would have been all right. I would have been all right with the gut runner missing the rest of the match. Like, imagine casting him. If that surf had been a Kaz, it'd have been, it'd have been worth it. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done the blitz, though. Maybe I could have surfed them all without the blitz. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I could, but maybe I could have done. Right, at least got movement eight anyways. That makes that makes the three turner a lot more a lot more realistic, doesn't it? Much more realistic prospect. What's this extra arms thrower? Don't care about oh god. Strong arm, don't care about the accurate strong arm, don't care about either of those skills. So he's better at picking up. He's better at passing. I guess the passer is the one that has to be gone for. And it is good that this random guard guy has mighty blow because it is then three mighty blow blocks on the LOS. Right, just have to make sure I don't get fucked on a blitz. When I say make sure, I can't really make sure. This is the best I can do, though, isn't it? He's only down at one gutter, isn't he? Did he only have three to start with? Down at one gutter runner? All right, it's the best gutter runner you can possibly get, but still, it's pretty good. One good to miss next game. Ah, lucky me. Oh, what the kick? Is there any need for that kick, though? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking hell. That's ridiculous. That is just absolutely fucking ridiculous. No need for that kick at all. Mindlessly blitz and pile on, seems good. Right, so let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hand off. One, two, three, four, five. So I could double GFI every turn, or I could make a handoff. I guess making the handoff is better. I can still go for the GFIs, though, if it's safe.
<laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Fucking hell. No, I would never do ever delete a ladder. What the fuck was that about? I can just base everybody here now, can't I? With these stuns and knockdowns and everything. Oh god. Pretty good dice rolling. Right, he wants to be one square forward, doesn't he? So that he can uh, go six and six. So I've got more people who can score. You can go two, so there's two over there. Really need to not fail pickups twice in a row and just lose it. Eh? Imagine that. I just gotta make these 136 as soon as I've got the rerolls. There you go. <laughs> that would have been the better play, so now he's got the handoff. And get the halfway line next turn. And then the turn after he can go up eight and hand it off to somebody. So I just need scoring threats next turn. And a bit of a cage. It would be a shame it's a shame though, because there's none of the GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double GFI. Six G I think it was worth going for the six GFIs. Ah, oh, hello, Super Mega Ultra VIP oh, Last Frogman. It's frog my man. sugar daddy, the Last Frogman. <laughs> I concede all the time, come find me. <laughs> yeah, due to fact it didn't break arm even with even with two tries, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was definitely where I mean of well, there's the chance of just of just failing and, and you know having armor broken and losing <laughs> literally just losing and his movement 10 guy running over and picking up the ball <laughs> there was the chance of that so <laughs> there was that chance I could even go for the handoff next turn I guess because then if it fails there's the chance to uh, pick it up and score and then, yeah I guess I'll go for the handoff next turn So trying to make it, trying to make a bit of a safe cage and get canoring threats. I think he'd done goofed with that. We'll find out. There is a 3D pylon blitz on that gut runner. Yeah, that's a little bit tempting, isn't it? 
But the thing is, there's also a blitz and a block here to, uh, you know, obviously completely ruin him down the sideline here. He can go eight into a handoff there, which then can get him six forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he has to go here first. Of that, there is no doubt. He has to get up. He might blitz. He has to go in. He has to go in. It's just whether I have to blitz this... Uh, this uh, lineman or not, isn't it? That's the question. So that makes it three plus dodge out that way. So I have to have to GFI to shut him down. I could just blitz him and that also shuts him down I think I have to blitz him no oh, that's a GFI to blitz him though he's a scoring threat he's a scoring threat blitz him yeah fuck it I'd rather just GF it's a, well, it's a, a GFI shuts him down there's really a chance to get the ball so then it's got to be one of these two which he can kind of do but at the moment keeping him in a tackle zone is good so yeah alright then fuck it let's go Got him. Yeah, I think I will follow. Outrageous. He just gets in the way there, doesn't he? Made the GFI. Pretty good. Due to fail go. <laughs> you got a reroll as well, oh shit. Got a bonus reroll, dirty dingo. <laughs> Due to fuck oh shit, any. <laughs> Be a gym foul, a gym foul probably can't log on, I would say. But then that's a tactic, isn't it? The tactic would be piling on and losing the game by not breaking AB. Probably.
Yeah, it was a good move doing that first because then it's uh, it had the best chance to uh, get the blood step on, even though he'd, he would have liked to have done a bit and stuff, wouldn't he? Just get the blood step on. Do have a reroll. Um, so we'll make a three dice block. That seems reasonable. Hmm. I was trying to think, and I was thinking if I push him, I can get an additional block. But to do that, I have to block him first. Which would be a 2D, but yeah, okay, I'll go for it. If you don't bail on any really a chaos team? <laughs> That's a good question. I mean, I've re be really been a chaos team this 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 game. Even though the piling on guy hasn't done anything, the other players have stepped up and uh, just the mighty blow, isn't it? And weight of blocks has been pretty good. Oh, and you got a cast there. I oh, got an extra pull as well. Oh, yeah, I remember. Mm. I mean, I'm going to risk the one in 12.96, I think. I did double score last game against him, didn't I? This levels him if he gets a Kaz here. So I guess that's that's one greed block worth making. And it's just their armor seven, aren't they? And like more players down just ma makes his good players more exposed. So like it's hard not to make these blocks. Not the ideal player to score on, but still. Yeah, no apple left. Ballsy. It's pretty easy when you can when you can make pickups and handoffs and kill the kill the entire team. I mean that's four cars in the KO that hasn't recovered. It's pretty good, isn't it? We've got him as well. We've got him, lads, boys, lads. I'm right, just gonna have to block straight forward on the LOS. What's it better three dice in? Or two dice with tackle? Three dice with tackle or three dice with pom. Seeing as I'm pomming him, I guess it's better to uh, pom him, isn't it? Push him out to there, him out to there, him out to there. These two would have to be pals then. That would have to be a pal. And that one would have to be a pal. If I go diagonally, then I could get knocked. Alright, just think about the blitz, first of all. That's about as much as I can do. You need a pal there and a pal there. And a push there. 
and then the pom is through, but he needs the he needs the assist, which isn't easy to get in. One, this would have to be a power as well. Oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, no. This could be a push, and then he could go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then he can go one, two, three, four, five, six. He can base there. Yep. So this is still potential for three dice pom on his good player. Hey Jim, Mia Carly, I couldn't make it today, so <laughs> she told me to tell you B-L-G-F-P-Y and the she. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks very much, last frog man. <laughs> yeah, best I got has to be on the field because of uh, the send-off, so couldn't fuck that up. <laughs> now he's protected him. <laughs> oh dear. I'll do some kind of chain here, maybe. Oh, no, I probably can't. Right, block him down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six GFIs on that. Hooked up, base, base, base. I can't block forward, can I? Come on. Double GFI to hit with tackle. Or one GFI to hit. Double GFI to hit with him. I guess it's important to have the ball, isn't it? I guess. Where is he? He's fast, isn't he? I think if he bases me, I can just fucking blitz him and wreck him, so I don't even care if he bases with him. And hopefully he'll be dead. Obviously I'm re-rolling these because I have to kill him. No, I can't, I can't read it though. Even though I have to kill him. Wrestler can defend the ball with the three dice. Three dice wrestle to hit him if he bases. And then can foul him. Not bad. Why not greed? Maybe I should have greeded, but I've got th I've only got three. Yeah, maybe I should have greeted it. It was three dice to pom him. 
I didn't have a foul set up because I had to block with a rookie. Yeah, it is. It is. No, that's the thing. It's early in the drive, isn't it? I mean, first turn, you don't want to greed on the first turn because you don't know what's going to happen, do you? But on the other hand, he is the one player to greed on. If there's ever a player to greed on, it's the uh, the fucking plus movement. Natural one turn, isn't it? So, you know, if there's ever a player to greed, he's the one. So you could make a very good argument that I should have greeded it, to be fair. <laughs> Little shit. You can foul him after I foul him. Yeah, maybe I should have re rolled the hit. What I don't like is these three plus dodges never fail. Tackler can't hit. This guy could double GFI to hit. I can't get somebody back here, so it should, it's better to blitz him. But I've only got one guy to blitz with. So he has to come back here. Could make this three dice. Where can these guys get otherwise? Nowhere really. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hitting him. No, oh, they can get back here maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. Yeah, okay, they can do something. I really just need a pal here. Good lad. If this is a double ball down, it's pretty shit, isn't it? Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. I thought it might be better. Just gonna uphill block me, isn't he? And he might get the double power. One in nine. One in nine he wins. He's got a reroll for it as well. So I should have uh, I should have not rolled a double skull, probably. Would have been a good player. GFI. 
Should have just gone for the dodge. Shit. Ah, oh, you had fourth shadowing. Ah, right. So, okay, then I shouldn't have gone for the dodge. I forgot shadowing like an absolute pleb. So, yeah, that was... I should have not gone forward. I got a new mouse for Lainey. Uh Well, not a new mouse. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether to block either of Jelly Hill, but it's more chance to power him than it is to... It's so easy for him to, to get the ball off me here. <laughs> yeah, it's a 4 plus 3 plus into a 2 dice, or it's a 2 dice uphill. It's so fucking... I should have stayed back further, I guess, so he couldn't base me. Or greeted the first turn. Save the rest of my hand off, but I had to use my reroll, so I couldn't... I couldn't just put... I couldn't... I don't think I could... Rely on a three plus without the reroll. If I hadn't had the reroll, yeah, that's what I would have thought about doing for sure. But then even then, I couldn't stop him just two dicing me uphill and I'd have wrestle. I guess then that would stop him. You know, it wouldn't be this. It doesn't matter wrestle, does it? Oh, did I not end the turn? <laughs> oh shit! I thought he was thinking for ages, but I hadn't ended the turn. Oh well. Wasn't BM. Yeah, one in nine with a reroll though, isn't it? Or he could go for the four plus three plus. I guess he sambered it. Doesn't matter about the side step, just lost. Isn't that stupid, eh? Isn't that fucking stupid, man? Fucking Skaven. I should have should have greeted the hit. Should have greeted the hit on the uh on the uh, gutter runner. <laughs> Should have greeted the hit on the gutter. No players in the pitch. Now it can be a loss, this game. <laughs> now this game can be a loss. Never mind a fucking draw. This game can be a fucking loss. Yeah, grunts. I can't believe that I made two GFIs to hit him and then didn't greed it. Like, that was pretty stupid. Because that was the only way into it. Was that gutter runner, wasn't it? There was only one gutter runner. There was only one possible player to lose to. And I left it too light back, though, didn't I? By, uh, by committing to it, I guess I, I should have just let, had two players, or even three players back here. I didn't need to commit so, so much to getting two dice on him. Those two players were completely useless. If they'd been back here... Completely screening the ball. So I guess. <sighs> yeah, I guess basing the ball is what fucked me. Man, it, it wouldn't have mattered there. We're all skull push push. I could have, um, I could have greeted it. But, didn't. And it was a brutal kick again, without a kick. Just quietly. Oh yeah, Pedro, yeah. He rolled double power though, but yeah. Yeah, that was pretty shit, wasn't it? I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have blocked him. Hmm. Do I go for the win? I can't go for the win against Gaven. I just literally can't. How stupid is that?
I want to go for the 75% knockdown, even though the guard guy's a way better player. Maybe I can go for the win. Fucking Skaven. Should have agreed at it, maybe, eh? There's the, there's the one in nine fail. Well, spying. I mean, look, it's anyone. Anyone can watch, can't they? I'm not. I'm not like Kano when he says, "Don't watch me when we're in the game." Anyone can watch, and yeah, sometimes I might say things that people don't see themselves because. But then you know, sometimes people in the chat say things that I don't see myself, so it's fair enough, isn't it? It seems like it'd be better, doesn't it, Pedro? He's not—he's not the best at, uh, at removing players. Yeah, I did think I should have stayed behind. Maybe I should have agreed with it because he was the only threat in the entire game. Was that fucking gutter runner? You can go another one behind now. Look, roll some dice. Good old Skaven. This scatters to here, I'm fucked. Here, I'm fucked. Here's not good. That's okay, I guess. Three tackle zones. Four tackle zones. Okay. I want to foul. I also want to be able to blitz with claw palm. So, put him there. Hmm. I also want to be able to block with tackle though. No, I think I've just wasted a move. I want to be able to hit him with tackle, don't I? a sidestep but then saving a blitz would be amazing Got shadowing. Ah. I don't think it matters because I've decided to uh, go against the warrior block on him anyway. Freeing the tackle was more important, wasn't it? 
Yes, it was. Oh, really? Oh, my fucking God. Oh, I can block him. That's all right. There's no need for that, like. <laughs> Scatter into a tackle zone, but it was all right in the end. Go there, hand off. Seeing as the guts are down, the hand off fail is all right. And then go for the touchdown on turn 13 to try to win. Do I want to try a win against two gutters? And I just take the. I can't take the draw because he might just score a one turner anyway. So I guess that decides it, doesn't it? Good job I didn't re-roll that if it, if it had been a failure. Because down to zero re-rolls would have been horrible, wouldn't it? Yeah, you can just score, can't you? That's the fucking horrible thing. You could, like, it's just too powerful. The one turn is just too fucking powerful. <laughs> Natural one turns. Never failing three pluses again. I know he won in 81, crucially. Banged on here. At least he didn't die. I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have exposed the ball. My fault. Bad play. Focus. Should have gone for the focus and safe moves first, rather than uh, rather than just trying to bang on people. Right. So now I'm committed to scoring this turn. I can't foul the gutter. I can just go for a three dice blitz. Wow. He's meant to be standing there.
Come on, Judah Fago, stop rolling shit. I don't even want to risk a two dice here. Ah, but I don't have to. I'll do a. No, no, I can't do it. Rookie, get some star player points. I didn't, I, he didn't force me to score, I forced myself, didn't I, Jelly, by going for a handoff, pretty much. That was the thing, I had, I kind of had to, though, try. He's got, he's got a natural one turn. So... <laughs> That's the fucking problem, isn't it? Let him blitz the killer scenes, he does fuck all anyway. Well, I guess I should have put the shit warrior on the line to the guard one, but still, the guard one can keep them a bit safer, I guess. Make them commit a bit more. Like, maybe I could have put all warriors on the LOS. Just should have thought about it more, shouldn't I? If I'm actually trying to qualify, but. Try not to care anyway. Yeah, but he won in 81. Lemon is good. <laughs> he did one in 81. And I did get perfect defence. No, I didn't. He, he just didn't make any rules off the LOS, did he? And, uh... I was able to go high risk. <laughs> And only one reroll is rough. Oh, man, that was bad though. I, yeah, I should have just protected the ball at all costs against Gaven. That was even written on my old bit. I've got a new bit of paper, and it's exactly what I said about. Um, it was exactly what I said about Ducky, wasn't it, when he was... He's got two gutters now, hasn't he? He's got two gutters. It was exactly what I said when Ducky was in his match. He was like, uh, you know, he was doing fouling and stuff rather than protecting the ball. And I was like, that's a mistake, I think, against Skaven. And then I just... I did it there. I didn't protect the ball, even against fucking three players. Did not protect the ball, paid the price. The only player I wanted to remove is the only one that's left. <laughs> yeah, five cars is great, to be fair. I'm not really complaining, it was just my bad play, wasn't it? it, it ultimately. Ultimately, it was my bad play by uh, giving him the chance to pressure the ball with no players. Maybe I should have put the tackler behind the killer, seeing as he was likely to blitz him and that.
I mean, to be fair, the one the the one gutter that got cast was actually a pretty good one. Wrestle leap strip dauntless. It's not the one I wanted. And he was the one that I fouled. So if I'd saved the dirty player for fouling him, I would have got him. Yeah, maybe I'd have greeted. Maybe I'd have greeted the hit on the gutter if I, uh, if I still had the dirty player in a position to foul as well. Double one! And it was stunned! Glorious! It doesn't get much better than that, does it? Holy shit. Four. He's got to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI. So the other guy's got to make the GFI to make the play for the ball next turn. Such a shame that the movement eight guy is marked. I mean, obviously, that's why he did it, right? He's not stupid. <laughs> Hmm. Put tackle on him. That's a better idea, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Stand up. Yes. Where's he going to assist him? I should have gone back one. It should be one back. I can't risk having to make a GFI, can I? That's a bit shit. Oh, great stun. to re-roll it because I didn't stand this guy up first. I should have done safe moves first of him. Fuck me.
and a one on him, of course. <laughs> Getting a score and range, roll a one. Oh man! Yeah, if I just stood up that wrestle, I could have taken that double skulls. But as it was, if I double skulled, you can pass it and then just run through the middle, gaping hole, wasn't it? Now I've only got one scoring threat instead of two. Maybe I shouldn't have made the GFI, but I really wanted to. <laughs> Question, isn't it? I don't like accurate no. One scoring threat, he's gone. No, he's not, he's pushed. He's pushed, he's not gone. Not dead and buried yet. Fail something. Good. Good. Well failed. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have made the GFI. Maybe it's just important to have the threats there rather than an actual, you know, a proper one for next turn. Can't even base him anyway. And try base him afterwards. I'll try to do this block first. Uh, Push him into him. The only winning move is to not play. My cousin, a government supercomputer, told me this once. <laughs> yep, it's true. Alright. Power this guy. Like, I could just blitz. I'm trying to do a stupid chain here, and I can just blitz him myself. Right, so there's no no need to do a stupid blitz. A uh, stupid chain. Stunned him. <laughs> I 
Move can't get in range one GFI, I didn't think of that. But um yeah, fouling was was alright anyway, wasn't it? I forget that I've got a movement eight gold. <laughs> Hello Soulforge PV. I mean, there's still a chance of just, if he fails something here, blitz him, push him to there, five out of eight, three out, two, two out of three, pick it up, score. There's still a chance of a win here. I mean, even then, it could still be a draw anyway, even if I fucking, could still be a 3-3 three, three draw, even if I fucking blitz him and pick up and recover. Fucking ridiculous. I, should, I guess that GFI was done. But then, no, I kind of had to re-roll that double score. Fuck's sake. Yeah, best for gore. Difference between best for gore and Judah for gore, eh? He even fouls people and stuns them. I guess, yeah, I guess I should just not gone for the three dice on the gutter. Protected the ball at all costs. I was winning. All I had to do was not fuck up, and I fucked up. So, yeah, it was terrible. No, I wasn't winning, was it? It was 1 1. So. Nah, no, it was alright going for the one turn, actually. Oh well, here we go. Time for some rap bullshit. Hmm, failed. Can blitz him. He can blitz, pow him, push him. No, pow him, push him to there. Then he can block him, and then he can go and pick it up and hand it off. I think I have to go for the win. Oh, nearly misclicked. <laughs> nearly misclicked. Blitz him. Get a pow. Get a pow there. One, Are two, you going three. To fail this, Jimmy? Probably I don't have a reroll, so the chance of it working is pretty low. Didn't get the power. Right, plan B. Which is the dodge in the handoff. Um Should have done saving his already. Right. I mean, that, that's what I've got to do, right? There's no other thing. No. Three three pluses. Didn't print a loop pack. Oh, God. Reroll's gone at least. Oh, fuck off. Just fuck off. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, I thought it was going to bounce to him. <laughs> oh. I 
I mean, I would have taken the two one and one turner, I guess. But um, yeah, disappointed that I fucked up. Disappointed that I fucked. Zero armor breaks the entire match against <laughs> twenty two was crazy, isn't it? Got a guard on the warrior. 65 blocks against Skaven. Actually, the five injuries was probably unlucky on 65 blocks. <laughs> um, yeah, interesting, wasn't it? Interesting, interesting game. GG, Crystal Hunter. <laughs> yeah, it's good, 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 good games. I would rather you didn't have a one-turner. <laughs> I mean, if the one-turner wasn't there... I wouldn't. I would have won two one for sure because I wouldn't have been trying to, you know, do everything to get a three dice on him. So, if he just had, you know, if he just wasn't on the pitch or didn't exist, if I'd cast him instead of the other guy, um, then I think I think I'd have been a hundred percent win. Obviously, after the one in eighty one dodge, etc., etc., etc. But still, I was very lucky that it had to use the wizard on offense. That was. That was the biggest thing because that made, but I still just fucked up offense anyway. Really dumb. Ooh, double. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm still gonna go guard. There's not enough time to make a claw guy. So there you go. Four, five guard all together. Four guys to hit people with. Um. It's looking all right, but the uh, draw probably takes us out of the wild card spot. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.